hi guys thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video hopefully it won't be too long I'm going to share with you a couple of things in my trash a couple of things that I've bought and things that I've really been loving so first of all if you've already I was gonna say if you've already seen my get ready with me with my eye look that I've got on today but I don't know if that's gonna go public or not if you have if it hasn't been posted then you know I totally lost my nerve on it. It was my first get ready with me and it was, um, you know, <laughs> kind of like not a great experience because I'm still learning. But anyways, so a couple of things that I really wanted to share with you that I have really, really liked and bought over and over again. So first of all, I sometimes throw my empties out and I just don't even think about it. But I ran out of my ordinary glycolic acid, 7%. This is their toning solution. And I got a new one. So I got a replacement on this. This is, I've used this for a long time. The ordinary products are very, very affordable. And I know there's all sorts of hype about medical grade skincare, you know, over the counter skincare, all of that. My take on that is, do what you can afford you know if, if you can afford all medical grade awesome go for it do what you can afford you know your skin better than anyone else and if you have a question about your skin it's a dermatologist you should be talking to not a youtuber because you know when I get the question should I should I do this should I do that should I should I I always feel like I, I'm not the person to ask because I'm on this journey learning and playing catch up because I was so late to the skincare game. But I do like this. So I use this maybe four times a week. It all really depends on my skin. So I listen to my skin. If my skin seems to be, you know, really, really dry, dry, I'm very, very careful on how much and what products I put on. But this is something I usually do in the morning after I've washed my face. Depends if I've used my Studio 35. Everything is in moderation. I don't pile up a lot of skincare items on top of each other, at least not this type of stuff. I'm not talking my serums. So I got that, I replaced that, I really like it. I also use more often than not, and I have tried a couple of different products that were sent to me that I've talked about on the channel from the Octoly Network, but more often than not, I still go back to my hot sets 22 from Redken. I've been using this for a long time. I buy this from my hair dresser. Last time I was there I told her that I had very little left in the bottle and I needed more. So she gets me the big replacement bottle and I then just pour it in and I'm all set. So I have this. I'm really super excited about that because I really like that a lot. What I do with that is when I'm going to use my hot rollers or if I'm going to use my uh, curling iron or anything like that, I usually will spray that on my hair and then I might roll the hot roller in or I might use the curling iron. That's how I typically use it. I really like it. The other thing that I have replaced and replaced and replaced, and this is still a go-to, out, out of all of the texturizing products that I've tried, all of that, I still end up going back to my Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. And I have bought this from my hairdresser and have also bought this at TJ Maxx Marshalls. You can get it at Sally's, you can get it at anywhere, obviously, but I usually, usually get it from a hairdresser or TJ Maxx um, or Marshalls. I like this because like if you're out, say you're out riding your bike and you have a helmet on or a hat on and you take it off and you have flat hat hair, you can push this on, you know, shake this on and then just, you know, put it through your hands and you'll get some fluff back. You're not going to get a perfectly styled look, but you're going to get some fluff back and I really like that. So my boots number seven, Lift and Luminate. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, am I still using it? I absolutely am still using the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate. I am also trying to work my way through my It Cosmetics CC creams that I have. I have three tubes of that, so I have been really trying. This summer I used the darker shade. I love the CC cream because it has the 50 SPF, but it does not play nice with my skin all the time. I have learned to tap it in rather than try to rub it in, and I have learned to apply it a little bit better, but still more often than not, I go through and I pull the number seven Lift and Luminate foundation in the color Wheat. Now, 
some of you will say that my skin looks too shiny or whatnot and I do think that the light makes it look shinier than it is in real life but I would rather have a little bit more of a shinier look than the dry patchy flaky look if at all possible so more often than not I reach for this this one is almost all gone I already have my replacement so that's how much I really love this I use the, the lift and illuminate especially I think going into winter I will use it a lot because my skin will be drier in the winter I may be able to be totally comfortable with a little bit of a sunblock and then that on it because it has 15 SPF I may not need to have as much sunblock on as I do the rest of the time some of you know that I have been using the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment since my birthday, February 14th, and I'm still using it. So I, I have the U.S. version and I have the U.K. version. I've talked about this in my in my previous videos. I'm nearly all done. The U.K. version, I use that mostly all the time. This one is almost empty, but I'm still trying to squish out the last amount. When I think I'm there, I will cut the tube and I'll dig it out that way, stick it in a baggie. I like to really finish my products, but I also have my replacement for this. So I am going to continue to use this and I like it a lot. I am getting ready to order some more Retin-A. I order my Retin-A overseas in a pharmacy in India. The ordering process requires an e-check and sometimes the e-check can be scary to people. So what I've done is I've set up a separate checking account. Now I get a free checking account. If you have to pay, maybe it doesn't make sense, but I set up a separate checking account. And in that checking account, I just deposited like a hundred bucks. Most of the time I have 50 bucks in there. And I use that checking account so that when I'm ordering things like my eyelash serum like my retin-a from a pharmacy overseas i can use that to pay by e-check or give them a routing number or whatever that's my comfort zone so i will use that now when i set up that checking account they asked me what number do you want to start at i didn't want to start at 001 i want, didn't want it to look like a new checking account so i started at like i think number 400 or 450 or something like that so you can do that so it looks like an existing checking account it may or may not matter but that's how I do it so speaking of eyelash serums I have completely and I tossed it emptied out one of my blank eyelash serums that I use I thought I had another one in here but I have it in the cabinet the little blink eyelash serum that I have been using and trying so I tossed that out I have my replacement I'm also going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. So if you're interested and you've watched this far and you want to win two bottles of Blink, make sure you comment, like, and let me know that you want to try the Blink. And I'm going to do a random picker and uh, select this. I'll probably leave it up for about a week. I'll put all the information in the description box below. The other thing that I've reordered is my niacinamide, my ordinary. To the cars. The ordinary niacinamide. I have reordered that, so I have that in already in the other room. I because these little bottles look the same to me a lot, I usually just put a big initial so that I don't have to have my glasses on. I can see the N clearly. I know this is niacinamide, and I'm not going to mix it up with any other of my ordinary bottles or even my timeless bottles. I also just finished up a timeless vitamin C, but I already have my replacement. I ordered it when it had timeless has a 50% off sale a couple of times a year, so I ordered it then. I wrapped it up super, super tight. I put it in my freezer to preserve it. I'm all set to go. On my eyes is my Emily palette. I, I know you've seen all about the Emily palette. So to me, this palette, this is the Emily Needs palette. And this is a great palette for more of an everyday look for me. And that's actually what I've done today. With the exception, I really like my Rimmel Scandalized little glitter thing that I put in the middle. So that is about the only thing on my eyes other than my eyeliner and mascara that isn't from the Emily palette. So I really do, and on my, on my cheeks I have her blush. So I really like that, and I got a new lipstick. So this lipstick is 560 Spicy Mauve, and this is L'Oreal. And I do kind of like this. So I have it on my lips. I don't know, I like the color. I am trying to deepen up my color slightly on my lips, but not a whole lot because I just, I just can't get used to darker colors. Oh, diet, yeah, so 
I talked about being on the Isogenics, you know, combination low carb and Isogenics, and I emptied out each of these containers is 14 meals. And they, they roughly, just because some of you are going to ask, cost, they're about $39 one. So for $39, I'm getting 14 complete, complete meal replacements. In other words, this is just not a protein supplement. This is a complete balanced meal replacement. I usually currently, because I'm trying to still lose, use and replace two meals a day with one of these. This is my favorite flavor. This is peach mango. I absolutely love this. There's sometimes, if I have a fresh peach, I will cut it and into uh, quarters and I will stick some of it in the blender along with this in water and ice and I will make myself an awesome smoothie. I sometimes will add my collagen powder to it. Is this, my Hydrosate Collagen Powder. We buy it in the eight pound bag and we buy it from Great Lakes Gelatin. This is the unflavored one. This is really, Good. This is one of my holy grail items. I really believe that a collagen supplement taking from the inside out over the course of time will make a huge difference. And I mean over the course of time. It isn't going to be something that's going to be like, boom, there it is now and it's done. You know, you're, you're great. You've got to continue to use this. It builds and builds and builds. When I started using this, it took two months roughly for me to notice. And the first thing I noticed was dry, cakey elbows. My elbows would get so dry and so cakey that they would catch on sleeves and sometimes they would start to bleed. So, you know, anyways, that to me is like a holy grail item. We've repeatedly purchased it and will continue to purchase it. Both Jay and I are using it. Mm -hmm. But the Isogenic Meal Replacement actually does hold my appetite. It really does. Sometimes I'll throw some frozen strawberries in. This is the strawberry one that's empty. But I have vanilla. I have a mocha flavor and I have a pina colada flavor and peach is my all-time favorite flavor. I really, really love the peach flavor. I will list the, uh, I'll, sh I'll take a screenshot of the ingredients and the calorie count. While it is much higher in carbohydrates than say if you were on a pure keto program, there's a good amount of fiber in here and it's just a good balance. It, so it works for me. It works really good for me. The other thing before I finish this video, I know it's gonna be long, is I've been trying a couple of different primers this week. I ended up buying the NYX primer, Hydra Touch. I used this a long time ago, and I think, you know, I remember liking it, so I picked up another tube of it to try this week, as well as the e.l.f. I showed this in my Get Ready With Me. I'm not too sure if that video's gonna go live, but as well as that. So I've, I've been doing, I've been trying that a lot, and we have a big wedding coming up this coming weekend. I'm thinking this video will be live before the wedding and so because of the wedding coming up I've been playing around with face primers because once I put my face on that morning I really don't want to have to diddle around with it at all. Isn't that cute? Saturday skin. So one of the things that I did request and get from the Octoly Network from Saturday Skin, this was gifted to me in exchange for my honest review, was this peeling cream. It's called rub a dub -a dub refining peel gel so what you do after you wash your face you sort of pat dry your face you take some of this on and it smells really nice i really like it it's like a very it's like a fresh smell anyways you put it on in circular motions on your face and you let it sit for just a little bit i think maybe five minutes or so and then you take it off and it really leaves your skin feeling super super nice so I just received this I've only used it a couple of times but I really like it so far a lot and one of the other things that I am like massively massively liking is my nip and fab exfoliate I think I might have talked about this, this is a glycolic scrub that one of my subscribers recommended I get and I'm so thankful I did I ordered this off at Amazon so far I I've used this on alternate mornings because I do believe you can over over exfoliate, you can over treat, you can overdo your you can overdo with skincare. I think that's a real real thing for a lot of people. I'm like thinking dial it back rather than dial it fast forward. I'm very very cautious about the layering effect of all the different products I use. So all I can say is just be really very careful. Make sure that you carefully analyze and study your skin, especially if you're using Retin-A. 
So that said, I think I'm going to end this video. It's getting super long. I won't respond to any of your comments. So if you do have a question, leave it on a previous video. I'll try to get back to you. I am going to do the giveaway for two bottles of Blink at the end of this video. So make sure you like, make sure you leave me a comment telling me you want to try the Blink and I will send that out. It, the contest is going to run for a week. I will put the dates in the description box below and also make sure that you follow the uh, the instructions about commenting and liking the video to enter and to say that you want to try the blank. Other than that, I could have shared with you my stuff for the wedding, but that'll be too long. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you like the video. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, put them down in the comments. I will read all your comments. I will heart all your comments. I just won't answer because of the contest. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week, and I will catch you later.